friends so today I'm gonna be changing the light on my pool it is a niche style it's a niche style light so first things first we need to turn the power off so I don't fully trust that but that would suggest it's off do trust that, and that needs to be tested anyway. Is you gotta remove the screw. Maybe there's one, maybe there's more, but you gotta remove the screws that hold the fixture in, and then there's a cord that'll let it come up. So I'm using a number one screwdriver, and I've got a towel sitting here, which just makes this more comfortable. easier And it's just breaking it loose. That's the challenging part. And that's a really good sign when it floats. Because when it floats, that means it didn't leak. So these are normally a, um, a bulb. The way this works is this stainless steel ring pulls these clips in and that compresses this rubber gasket. My recommendation is you replace the gasket every time you change the bulb and you will have fewer problems. So when I bought this house it had a regular filament bulb that promptly burned out and aside from burning out it uses you know, a couple hundred watts of electricity so it's stupid expensive to run. I put an LED in there. This is a bad environment to run an LED in, but it lasted three years and it cost practically nothing to run. So, let's, ah, we're gonna need wrench. Let me go get that. So this is, now, this comes with a brass um, hardware and I replaced it with stainless steel. because it's not one to let go. That means it may not have been that stainless. Some 
All right, the other ones were, I think, Harbor Freight knockoffs. <clears throat> These definitely, that's definitely a difference. Don't think this is going to go well. get it apart but I'm going to order a brass one to take its place because I'm destroying the bolt that's in here. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of that screw. So, I'm going to have to order a replacement and um, I'm going to order a brass one. You want to be careful not to destroy this stainless steel ring. Um, I am curious what happened here, so I want to crack this open. It's a little bit of water in here, but not a whole lot. Uh, yep, water got in. That's, that's what killed this bulb. It does happen, and this was a Cree as well. You ain't going to get no 30 years out of it. So that's it for the moment. Um, I'm gonna have to get. I've got the gasket, but I'm gonna have to get a. Um, I'm gonna have to get another screw before I can put this back together.